The resumption of international travel ahead of the province's traditional peak summer season has been welcomed, especially given the provincial economy's reliance on the tourism industry. With a consistent decline in the number of infections, hospital admissions and deaths, the province says it's now ready to start salvaging its economy. Our uh, hospital beds that are at the Hospital of Hope, there are 300 uh, in Brackengate, keeping that response in place and all of the health responses that uh, we've uh, put in place over the last six months, they, uh, they don't, not all of them, but uh, many of them remaining in place so that we are prepared should we have any rise in infections. Um, but of course, the main focus we need, now need to move to is uh, getting the economy back, clawing back those jobs that we lost uh, during this period, and specifically the number of jobs in our tourism sector. So we absolutely welcome the opening up of our international borders. Cape Town International Airport is one of three in the country which will be open for international travel come the 1st of October. Airport management says processes are in place for a smooth resumption of its arrivals and departures. We have seen a slow but steady increase in passenger movement since the travel ban has been lifted and we are optimistic that that will now increase. We have processed a number of domestic passengers as well as nearly 20,000 international passengers on repatriation flights. The tourism film and hospitality industries, which employ thousands and contribute millions to the province's coffers, will now also begin its recovery journey. We need to assess, for example, the impact of the capacity uh, restrictions for indoor events and determine uh, what impact they will have uh, on our ability to host bigger anchor events, for example, like the mining in Daba and Africa Oil Week at the Cape Town International Convention Centre. We will also have to assess the impact of the restrictions on international travel and how uh, that, how the no-fly restrictions might affect our key source markets, such as the UK, Germany and France. And we will also have to carefully scrutinise how the restrictions will adjust as infection rates around the world increase or decrease. With a low number of infections, deaths and hospital admissions, residents have been urged not to drop their guard. My message is to the citizens of this province, you owe it to those, we all owe it to those who have lost their jobs to keep uh, making sure that we're flattening the curve. The immediate unblocking of jobs within the next 100 days is part of the province's plan to revive its economy. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.